there. Join me for some highlights of my TikTok live. I'm Kate from Kate Talkin Artistry. I am a watercolor artist and art supply enthusiast. And today I'm going to be unboxing, unbagging, <laughs> get it because it's in a bag, um, my new brushes from Infinity Arts. And um, so Nikki Welsh is the owner of Infinity Arts. Comes in a nice eco-friendly resealable bag. Wax seal. I almost like don't want to open it because it's so pretty. So I went a little wild. I got all of them. I couldn't stop myself. Basically, I use arches even for my swatching and stuff like that because that is the paper that I paint on and I need to know how it's going to work on. Like, if it works on a different watercolor paper, that's great, but that's not the kind that I'm going to be using. I'm going to do a nice hot pink opera rose if you're feeling fancy. So we're going to start with this size 22 mop brush. I'm getting it wet, I'm loading it with paint, and here we go. Let's see here. Oh yeah, oh that's nice. Oh yeah, I like that. So it picks up a lot of paint, it's got really good coverage. I like how on the second run it works really smoothly. I like how the lines on the side are crisp. Right, so I'm gonna rinse that off. Yum, that one is a good one. Okay, so I'll leave that there. Okay, so this one is the size 18, um, but I'm happy to share what I've learned on the fly. Oh yeah, look at, look at how long, look at how much pigment's in there, even after such a big, oh my goodness, that's so exciting. I love the heft of them too, if that's, I don't know, I feel like that's kind of a weird thing to say, but here we are. Get it loaded up. Oh my goodness. I love how crisp the edges are. You can get a nice consistent line. Maybe if you haven't had as much coffee as me, <laughs> it would even be crisper. Um, okay. I like it. I like it. This one could actually be used for like hand lettering, which would be fun if you wanted to do like more like I don't know, let's do like to have a consistent size. I'm gonna do K like that. Um, that's super fun. So that would be something nice to do. Okay, so these are all her newest ones, and I'm gonna start with this big mop brush here. This is size 16. Do, 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 do. Okay. So I like, this is a little bit softer than these ones. It would have like a really nice, like kind of, yeah, I can, I think I would use these for like, if I'm trying to do like a nice big wash. And sometimes I like to have the color kind of cascade off. And I think this would be a really great brush to do that. This round brush here, this is a size 14. Um, as I said earlier, I do not, have many big round brushes so I'm very excited about this especially for large scale so the cool thing about round brushes if you do not know is you can go thin and then push down and it's thicker oh that's nice and it even goes to like a really tiny point like even with this big brush so I would see I would totally use this for like large abstract florals like how oh, pretty, oh my God, okay. And like, look at all the pigment that it pulls through in just such a lovely organic way. Okay, let's see, this is the size 10, so this is the next size down. I'll do kind of all the round brushes all together. All right, um, so we'll go skinny, fat, skinny. Kinda wanna load that up with a little more paint here. Oh, oop, too much. Now I'm dripping everywhere. Okay, skinny, fat, skinny. Yeah, that's nice. I, I think I will probably use these a lot for my um, for my florals. And I kind of like how it has, it goes to like the brushy dry. Um, so it has a nice textured ending to it. Let's do the size six round brush. Okay. So this, as I said before, is kind of my favorite 
one to do for most things. Size six is like my most versatile size. So I'm very excited. Again, I like the kind of texture of, like sometimes when you use a brush, it's like very, um, like a harsh ending, like it would be kind of like that. But I love how this kind of drifts off. I feel like this would be really fun for feathers. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do the tiny one. Again, I just love the feel and the snap of these brushes. It feels just really nice. Um, not only is this kind of matte, so it has a nice grip to it. I feel like it's comfortable to hold. I also just like how it glides across the page. Like, look at, oh my gosh. Okay, so we can get some really nice, like, oh my gosh, whisker potential. Am I right or am I right? Look at that. Woo! Okay, that's gonna be fun. I think this one is called a sword brush. So it's a size eight. I'm gonna get it nice and wet. And then, and I've never used one of these before, you guys. So let's, uh, let's see how it goes. So I think people usually use these for leaves. Oh my God. Oh gosh, this is fun. I'm excited. Oh, cool. Okay, let's see if I turn it the other way. Um, I don't even, I don't even know. I'm so excited. Okay, this is awesome. Okay, I don't know how this compares to other brushes of this type, but I am a fan. Um, I like that it has a really long handle, so I feel like you could get work on a larger scale. Um, so that's gonna be fun to learn how to use. Okay, we've got another flat brush here. I'm interested to see how this varies from this one. Might actually just do it. Well, I'll do it over here. Okay. Okay, so again, this one has a little bit less, see how, see how these ones are like a really crisp line on the edge, which I like for some things. And then this one is just a little gentler and more, um, I feel like this is gonna be a lot better for like organic things. Like these ones are great. These brown ones are great for geometric-y, like harsh line stuff. Um, and then these ones I think are really gonna be great for nature things. Okay, I believe this is called a, Cat's tongue, I think. Okay, this is fun. I like this. I like this brush a lot. So you can, okay. I've seen people like do some really cool things. Oh, this would be like a really simple flower to do. Look at that. Cause the, the end of it, okay. I'm very excited about this. I would need to play more with this type of brush. Like mostly I just use round brushes. So, oh my gosh, you guys, the potential. I'm very excited about this brush, okay. Super sweet. Okay, this one I'm a little bit intimidated by because it's like a very long liner. Um, usually I don't do this long, but I, you know, I'm feeling brave today. So bolster me with the confidence. We'll just pretend. Okay, so for this one, it would be great for like, it's called a liner. So lining things. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of, oh baby. Oh, baby, look at that. And I'm just gonna show how long it holds. Okay, that's two lines. We're still going th strong with three lines. Oh my God, look at it go. It's still, I mean, it's still going. Look, okay, so like one, two, three, four, five lines. So the liner, it's long, it's absorbent, so you can line for a really long time and not have to constantly go back to your, um, to your paint. But this one is very absorbent and I'm very impressed. That was very fun. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the different brushes. And if you have any questions, let me know. And yeah, I think that's it.